we went for the race on Sunday with my jeans and shirt and some pads and a helmet. And then I ended the race being last, like so behind that nobody really noticed that I was still racing. Mouth is made of metal, 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 pocket full of yellow, yellow, pocket full of gold, and I hope you find, I hope you find your tree. Yeah. I wanted to race the 2011 National Supercross, MRF National Supercross Championship and we did, we went for all the races, me and my dad. And the first race I think I did fourth or fifth and the second race I did third and then third race I started getting first and then after four races I actually was almost in the points lead and I was like oh maybe I can win the championship. And then the last two races I won and then I won the championship in 2011. And that kind of started everything and I got support from TVS the next year. So in summary, my highlights are like 2011 uh, national champion in private class, foreign private. Then 2012 uh, national champion in group B. Then 2012 I got injured. I went to America for training and I crashed, as you can see. Then I came back and I couldn't really ride and then 2014 uh, was pretty good. I won the national championship in the pro class, like class one. And I also won the Pune Invitational League, which was really good. The people think of motocross as entertainment and not sports. So that needs to change. Just the mentality of people should change slowly and parents should support kids if they are interested. Of course, there's a chance of crashing or breaking stuff, but that's everywhere. So if you think like that, you can't really live because everything is risky, so. It's a rise in the pushing myself to like different levels like in anything it's like I want to get better and better in whatever I do for me it's more important to be the best I can like to and then the next time if I do do it better than I did it before <laughs>